Guys, as we draw closer to the midterm elections, it is important to us that our audience stay informed and up to date. So, with that in mind, it's time for the Tonight Show midterm election update. <laughs> going into Tuesday, there's going to be a lot of focus on Senate seats. So, let's take a look at how many seats are up for grabs. Looking at the board here, we see that there's one, two, three, that's 35 Senate seats up for grabs. That can go either way. So let's suppose there's big voter turnout in the South. As you see here, if you lean red, there's big voter turnout in the South. But let's say that there's a big minority voter turnout, then what happens? That's right, another board. Now, in this scenario, there's a real chance that Senate goes blue. That means Democrat. But let's think local. What's going on in Arizona? We've got Jeff Flake retiring, which means we got ourselves a toss up. Now, here's the alphabet. That's V for vote. That is the one, two, three, four. That's the 22nd letter. Who knows how that's going to affect things? Let's bring in another board. Uh, I want to show you district by district party breakdowns in local Texas neighborhoods. Here we go, right here. Sorry, that is not a touch screen. Can we roll in a touch screen, please? Thank you very much. Not a touch screen. Can we uh, roll? Thank you very much. That is not a touch screen. That is not a touch screen. Still not a touch screen. Let's pivot to the Texas Senate race. We got the incumbent Ted Cruz running. That's Ted Cruz right there. Let's see who's challenging him. See this guy right here? That's Beto O'Rourke. Now, the race could go either way. You know what? Let's bring out some chalkboards, really break it down. 435, okay? 435, that's the number of House seats up for grabs in this election. 435, and you do 1, 4, 14. That's how many Red Bulls I had before the show. Yeah. Now it's 15. <laughs> Woo! I'm never gonna die! Let's bring in more boards, everybody! We call this the Hawkeye Board because we're watching these elections like a hawk. Also, the board is only visible to hawks because they have vision four to eight times stronger than humans. And any hawk looking at this board will tell you that these numbers do not look good for independents. Now, let's talk about college age voters. We go to Tariq for more on that. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Uh, I'm standing here with a few additional boards. And the board I want to talk about first tackles, you guessed it, the college aged voter. If we have a substantial turnout among young voters, it could really tip this election. And I know what you're wondering. Does it matter if young voters are predominantly male or female? Let's go to the boards. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So the board is saying yes. <laughs> Gender matters. Now that's a game changer. It, it sure is, Tariq. Now, but what about incumbents seeking re-election? Is there a board for that? <laughs> you bet your boards there is, Jimmy. <laughs> An incumbent seeking re-election board? This I gotta see in person. <laughs> uh, where, 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 are, where are you actually? I'm, I'm, I'm next to my board. You next to? Okay, that doesn't actually help me. Uh, everything is next to a board. Where? What? What else is nearby you? <laughs> I can't even tell. All I see is other boards. Wait, wait, which board are you by? Uh, I, I'm by uh, Hispanic Voters Board. Um, Hispanic 65 and over or Hispanics 18 to 25? Uh, Hispanics 18 to 25. Gosh, I'm so confused. It's just too many boards. Uh, for a little help in this, we go to Rachel Maddow. Rachel? Jimmy, I don't think I'm in this sketch. All right, thank you very much, Rachel. Guys, we'll be here all night with up to the minute election coverage and, of course, the latest boards. We'll be right back, everyone. No. Are you there?